Hello my dear children. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good. Let's begin our session of one more topic in grammar. Pronoun. One of the eight parts of speech. What is a pronoun? A word used instead of or in place of noun is called pronoun. The examples for pronouns are I, you, we, he, she, it, they, etc. In general, there are nine kinds of pronouns. Personal, possessive, reciprocal, demonstrative, reflexive, emphatic, relative, interrogative, indefinite. Personal pronoun, a word used as a simple substitute for the proper name of a person is called personal pronoun. It shows us grammatical person, gender, number and case of noun like I, you, he, she, it, they. Now see these two sentences. Ramu is my friend. He is my friend. The subject in the first sentence is a noun Ramu. The subject in the second sentence is a pronoun he used in the place of noun Ramu. These personal pronouns are associated with a particular grammatical person. First person, second person, third person. The person who is speaking is called first person. Like I, we, me, mine. The person listening is called second person. You, your, yours. The person being spoken about is third person. He, she, it, they, them. Personal pronoun used with first person are First person singular subject is I. Plural is we. First person singular possessive pronoun are my and mine. Plural are our and ours. First person singular object is me and its plural form is us. Now let's see the examples. I like coffee. We go to school. This is my book. It's mine. That is our building. That's ours. He called me. They invited us. Personal pronoun with second person. Second person both singular subject and plural subject is the pronoun you. Second person both singular and plural possessive pronoun is your or yours. Second person both singular and plural object is also the pronoun you. Now see the examples. You are my friend. This book is yours. It's your book. He called you. Personal pronoun with third person. Third person singular subject pronouns are he, she, it, depending upon the gender. And plural pronoun is they. Third person singular possessive pronouns are his, her and its. And plural possessive pronoun is their. Third person singular object pronouns are him, her and it. And plural form is them. Now see the examples. He left the classroom. This is her notes. Teacher punished them. Possessive pronouns. It is used to show the ownership or position. It is used to tell that something belongs to someone. Like in the examples, this is my shirt. This book is mine. That is your book. This new car is ours. I want your book. This book is yours. His purse is missing. 
The bag is her present. The letter is hers. Its wings are broken. That is their building. The ship is theirs. Reciprocal pronoun. A reciprocal pronoun is a pronoun that is used to indicate that the same action performed by two or more people and taking results of the action simultaneously. Like each other, one another. Ravi and Shyam wished each other. Teachers were talking to one another about the meeting. Demonstrative pronoun. A pronoun that is used to point to something in specific is called demonstrative pronoun. It tells us whether something is singular or plural or near or far, in distance or time. This is a beautiful flower. This is my new car. These books are new. Those are costly dresses. Now in the example, this is a beautiful flower. Here we are talking about a specific flower which is single in number and it is indicating that near in distance. Reflexive pronoun. The pronoun that reflects back on the subject as a mirror or pronoun that refers to the subject is called reflexive pronoun. They act as either object or indirect object like myself, yourself, ourselves, himself, herself, themselves. The boy hurt himself. Here himself is a direct object which is reflecting on the noun the boy. You should complete the notes yourself. Here the pronoun yourself is indirect object of the sentence. She made dinner for herself. Emphatic pronoun. When reflexive pronoun is used to put emphasis on a particular noun, it is called emphatic pronoun. It is used to emphasize a noun and usually precedes the noun it refers to. Like myself, yourself, ourselves, himself, herself, themselves. I myself accepted this proposal. So here the pronoun myself is preceded by the noun I. You yourself sold your book. We ourselves wanted to invite him. So here yourself and ourselves are used to emphasize the pronouns you and we. Relative pronoun. A relative pronoun is a word that introduces a dependent or relative class and connects it to independent clause. The use of relative pronoun is to link a subordinate clause to a main clause. Now see these examples. This is the list of relative pronouns. Who, which, that, whom, whose, where, when, what and why. This is the boy who broke the window. My costly book which I bought is missing. I found the book that you lost. She is the lady whom I met in Hyderabad. I know the family whose house we bought. Write your name in the blank where I have put a mark. Let's cross the road when the signal comes. I didn't hear what you said. I want to know the reason why he was absent to school. Interrogative pronouns. Pronouns that are used to ask questions are called interrogative pronouns. These are also called WH words like who, whom, whose, which, what. Who is that person? Whom did you call? Whose pen is this? Which car is faster? 
What do you learn from this? Indefinite pronouns. It is a pronoun that refers to non-specific persons, things or places like some, few, many, any, anybody, every, another, each, etc. Singular. They move to another apartment. He asks not to tell anyone. There is someone in the kitchen. Now plural forms. He received several lessons. The company selected a few people. He showed some of his paintings. Thank you.